everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for another Keeper Corner. My name is Emma and this is Havala or Goffin's Cockatoo. Now Goffin's Cockatoos are native to the Tanambar Islands among Indonesia. Now cockatoos come in a variety of different sizes and colors and they live throughout most of Australia and those islands around there. Now Goffin's Cockatoos are one of the smaller species of cockatoos. The largest species is the palm cockatoo, and they are a very majestic looking bird. You should look it up. They're very cool looking. Now cockatoos all have what is called a crest on top of their head that they use to communicate. But sometimes Hollow likes to communicate just by herself. So she's actually going to introduce, she's gonna say hi to all of you guys. Can you say hi, Havala? Oh, no, she's gonna be like, no, no thank you. Can you say hi, Havala? Good job. So she says hi, Havala. That's how she introduces herself. Every morning when we come to check on her, we always tell her hello, and she has learned to mimic that right back at us. Let's try again. Hey. Ah. Good job. So she says, hi, Hopla. Now that crest, like I was saying, will sometimes come about whenever she is really emotional, happy, angry, sad, warning the rest of her flock. And that crest is just on top of her head and you might see it from time to time throughout this video. Now, cockatoos like Havla, the Goffin's cockatoo, they're actually on the endangered species list. Now, one of the reasons they're on the endangered species list is because of deforestation. So the places where they live are starting to disappear. But the main reason that they are on the endangered species list is because of the pet trade. So we always like to tell you to do your research about where your pet is coming from and to always learn all that you can that it is to take care of, of your pet. Now parrots are no exception to that rule. They, oh, they require a lot of care, especially cockatoos. Havala here, she loves attention. So I have to be extra careful what I am reinforcing. Sometimes she will scream for hours on end and I have to simply ignore her because that is not something that I want to hear all the time. Now Havla actually did come from someone, someone's house. They took very good care of her before she came to live here at the zoo. But we don't recommend having a parrot as a pet just because of how hard and difficult it could be. For instance, that beak is something that could put a bird and your home in trouble. Havla at the zoo, she gets lots of enrichment to help her with her beak. So she can chew through all different types of cardboard, brows, branches, and those nuts and seeds that we give her are especially important. And that beak is perfect for breaking apart all of those nuts. But in a home, that beak might destroy some very valuable things that you might have. Pavla, would you chew on those wooden spoons in the kitchen? What do you think? Oh, she's gonna explore. Would you chew on the wooden spoons? She says yes. She would love to chew on those wooden spoons. Those are perfect for a cockatoo's beak for manipulating. Yeah, you would definitely chew on those spoons. What do you think? Would you chew on people's shoes? <laughs> yeah, you would chew on people's shoes for sure. So you think dogs are a big issue with chewing on shoes? Cockatoos, they would totally destroy all your really nice loafers. What about, what about those nice picture frames? <laughs> yeah, she would destroy any kind of wooden picture frames. Yeah, there is no exception to that rule. What do you think? Would you, would you chew on the cat? No, okay, so she has some limits. She would not chew on the cat. So your cat is perfectly safe if you had a cockatoo. <laughs> Just kidding, let's see. What about the dog? <laughs> yeah, she would chew on the dog though. So for all those cat lovers out there, cockatoos, way to go. Just kidding, she would not chew on any of them. Would you chew on the dog? No, she would not chew on the dog, that's for sure. So they are a very great little bird. Now cockatoos are known for showing off and Havla is no exception to that rule. So she loves to show off exactly how beautiful and cute she is. And one of those ways is by doing a nice little twirl. What do you think, Havala? Can you spin for me? Oh, she's gotta eat her nuts first. She can't spin with her mouth full. That is crazy. Spin. All the way. No, spin. I know, you're just shaking your head. She says, no, I'm not gonna spin. Spin. Good job, Chas. Good job. So Havala was one of the first animals that I got to work with when I started back in 2015. So she has a very special place in my heart. So one of the things that I had started working on her with when I first started was actually just hopping longer distances. That is actually great exercise for you guys to do at home. It's to see how far you can jump. So you guys should definitely try to measure yourself. So let's see how far Havala can jump just from her perch today. Okay, let's, let's try a short distance. 
good job. So that was only a couple of inches. No real big problem for Havoa. Good job, Chavs. So we'll see if we can go a little bit further this time. And it's always good to challenge yourself. Don't stray away from a challenge. Let's see, a little bit further. Oh, she's a little hesitant. Just gotta look around. <laughs> as you can see, you might see some of those yellow feathers on the back of Havla's wings. And she's thinking about it. She doesn't know for sure. Oh, good job, Chavs. That was a little bit longer of a hop. We'll see if she can go further one more time. And you might even see her crest pop up this time. What do you think? Do you want to try? And looking around, she's unsure. That's okay. It's okay to have a little bit of nerves when you're trying something new. It just takes practice. Practice makes perfect. Come on, Jess. <laughs> Do you want to try? Okay, we'll go back to the good job. So that is okay. Practice makes perfect. So the next time I'll try to do just a little bit further from that one part that she was super successful at. So thank you so much for meeting Havla, our Gotham's cockatoo. She is a very cute bird. Make sure you say hi to her next time you visit the zoo when we are open back up. But we will see you guys next time. Make sure to do the activity following the video and we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.